Vietnamese. So today I'm just going to talk about really quickly some resume faux pas, what not to do on your resume. All right, so you do not need your photo on your resume. Um, a lot of the time it creates a little bit of bias. Um, really make sure to let your experience speak for yourself. So you don't need a picture, it's not necessary. Um, spelling and grammar. Please, 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 please make sure that your spelling and grammar is correct on your resume and cover letter. Um, it really shows that you're not paying attention to detail if you don't have that ready on your on your um, information. And you know, it sort of shows says to your potential employer how detail oriented is this person going to be in their, in this position. Um, a really good way to make sure that everything is correct is to have someone look it over. A second set of eyes is always a good idea. Is UK spelling down there? That's okay. <laughs> um, make sure to make it readable. Consider your font size, your font color, and your font choice. I like to stick with Arial, black, size 11. That's always nice. Make sure that there's a nice combination of white space versus content so that it's not too hard for, your, for a recruiter or a hiring manager to read. Um, also take into consideration that it should look good both on the screen and printed. And then make sure that your LinkedIn and your resume are cohesive. Um, yeah, Kim Kardashian has her own LinkedIn. Um, so when you update one, update the other. So make sure that you know they're not totally different. <laughs> and then unless you are a brand new graduate, you don't need your education up front and first. You can have your uh, experience speak for yourself and you can put your education more towards the end. So that's the end of the presentation. Thank you all for coming. Wow. If you have any questions, come, feel free to reach out to me. Follow us on Twitter. Thanks.